This is Richard Eskow, and we are back on Take Action News, uh, and uh, I have a slight technical problem with my headset here, but I am going to pray that it resolves itself and that you can hear me okay. Uh, nothing works perfectly in this world. Um, man, my next guest, uh, my next guest is with the Granite State Progress Organization. We're going to be talking about the um, the struggle to take back state houses. Um, we don't quite have her yet, though. Um, okay, we promised you at the beginning of this show that there would be a technical glitch or two, and that first hour just went way too smoothly. So what we're doing is uh, generating them for you now, but we are done. That was purely for symbolic purposes, and we now have Zandra Rice with us. She is the executive director of the Granite State Network, and she is involved. You know, we talk a lot about politics on the national level. We talk a lot less about what's going on on the state level, and I think that's a mistaken focus. So uh, Zandra, are you with us? Oh, we may not have Zandra. Um, we are redialing Zandra. Okay, well, you know, this is the excitement of live radio, and uh, this is what we're here to share with you. But as, as I was saying a minute ago, you know, we hear, we talk, everybody's talking about will Hillary run in 2016. Everybody's talking about personality issues everybody's talking about uh, you know the national and these 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 are don't get me wrong these are important debates these are important arguments but what happens at the state houses uh, and at the state level decides our future just as much as as uh, these battles do which is why it's my my uh, a great pleasure to introduce uh, Sandra Rice of the Granite State Network again uh, Zandra are you with us I am thank you for having me Oh, it's a pleasure. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yep, Zandra. You got it. All right. Now, tell us for a second about what you do at the Granite State Network, if you would. Sure. Um, it is actually Granite State Progress, and Granite State Progress is a multi-issue advocacy organization, and we work primarily on issues of immediate state or local concern. So our job is to um, help support other progressive allies in the community on their campaigns, but also be a consistent presence to push back on conservative propaganda or to pick up um, the ball when, say, an issue comes up that there's not an identifiable group to work on it. We step in and, um, and make sure that there's progressive solutions to critical community problems. Now, do you work with that mostly in communicating with the general public or with legislators or with candidates or, or all of the above? All of the above. So we... Um, work a lot to uh, do public education and communications um, to the general public, but we have a particular track record around um, following and monitoring candidates and elected officials and sharing that information back with, um, with their constituents and voters. In particular, at the New Hampshire State House, Grant State Progress leads a um, vote report card project. And for those who don't know, New Hampshire has 400 state representatives plus 24 state senators. So for the average constituent to know what their legislator is doing and really understand um, their votes on the issues that matter to them, Grant State Progress breaks um, over 200 votes down each session into layman's terms and gives constituents um, a printout of how their individual legislators voted. Now, to put that in context for people who are listening, New Hampshire is not a large state, so to have a, a legislature that that's that large means that you really, the ratio of a representative, a legislator to the average citizen, there are much more of them. It's, it's as if each legislator is representing almost a neighborhood. Is that fair to say, as opposed to, you know, a large, for example, right now I'm sitting in California where my legislator uh, probably represents three quarters of a million people, where you are, uh, the legislator probably represents, what, a uh, few thousand? Yep, yep, exactly, a few thousand, and it's not unusual for um, a single member of the community to have um, five to eight legislators at the state house who represent them. So, oh, really? You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you think about how difficult it is for um, the average voter just to know how one elected official is doing, uh, or doing on their behalf each day at the state house, imagine trying to track five to eight. 
Now, here's why one of the reasons why I, I think your work is important, but you can tell me. You, you, you know, one of the things that I follow very closely is polling data. And um, the polling, uh, uh, New Hampshire is generally thought of as a conservative or a, a right leaning state. Um, but polling data cons consistently shows that on a number of issues, especially social and economic issues, even self-described conservatives, registered Republicans, even self-described Tea Party members are often are surprisingly progressive on specific issues. For example, on the national level, 76, 75 percent of registered Republicans in one poll and 76 percent of self-described Tea Party members thought that Social Security benefits should not be cut to reduce the deficit. So there are many ways, Wall Street, taxation and so on, where relatively, you know, self-described conservative voters and registered Republicans are, are better on the issues than people think. So I would think that your work, unless letting them know how their legislators are voting and giving them a chance to push back is effective. Um, and um, could you tell us maybe what two or three of your biggest successes so far have been? Yeah, certainly. Um, so for those who had followed some of the um, work around Alec Exposed in particular, um, a really exciting thing that happened here in New Hampshire this past year is that um, we had a really bad bill come through that um, the American Legislative Exchange Council uh, has been supporting policies like this, and it's to eliminate paper paychecks and move people over to fee laden payroll cards for their salary if they don't have direct deposit. And um, this is an issue that we found bipartisan support to defeat here because people care very deeply about uh, about workers in our state, but also just in making sure that um, we weren't jeopardizing um, the rights and the ability of individuals, particularly in really small rural communities where it's not unusual for people um, to still not use um, electronic banking services, for example. So that's an exciting piece. It's also really important to know about New Hampshire's um, kind of political makeup on some of the issues that you cited in terms of um, the polling data. New Hampshire is also very um, strongly a pro-choice and pro-equality state. So we passed marriage equality here um, in a state where, you know, a lot of people probably wouldn't have expected that. Um, but we had overwhelming support. And in fact, um, during the last legislative session, 2011-2012, um, we had super conservative super majorities in both um, the state house and the state senate. And despite that, um, beat back some really aggressive tax uh, attacks on women's health, attempts to repeal marriage equality in the state, and attempts to um, institute right to work for less. Well, that's great. And you mentioned two issues. You mentioned uh, the ALEC group, American Legislative Exchange Council, which people may, or, or it's not Exchange Council, but uh, which people may uh, remember from uh, the fact that it's been written up, the large funding it's received from the Koch brothers and from many major corporations, some of whom have dropped out under pressure. But uh, that's, this is where, you know, they used to say in the old days, think globally, act locally. Uh, here, this is a corporate group, which in your state was trying to force people to use corporate resources, namely electronic banking and the banking system, even if they didn't want to, you fought back and succeeded. So if people, uh, very briefly as we wrap up, um, if people want to support your organization or learn more about it, uh, where can they go? They can go www.granitestateprogress.org. You can see a ton of the issues we've been working on and some of the exciting projects we have coming up. That's great. Zandra Rice, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you very much for having me.